Welcome along, everybody. Oh, everything reset. Well, how are we doing? I was just saying that I have all my lights in here on a single button on my stream deck, except that one there. And the reason why we started with darkness over from this side was simply because <laughs> that light wasn't turned on. One day, I will get a second Elgato key light and I'll place it there and, uh, and sort it. So, yeah. Oh dear. Sound should be working. Uh, got music, got microphone. That's yeah, no, it should be working. I'm gonna I'm just gonna bring the Yeah. Stream's working. It's all good. Uh so let's say some hellos. Uh Transboy96, welcome along. Gaming FFC, welcome along. I'm sorry, Nightbot bopped you. Um, Kelchi1983, welcome along. Joshua Bonds, welcome along. Farmer G, welcome along. I hope you are all doing well. It is, of course, Saturday night, and we are here on YouTube for the Community Multiplayer. Um, only news I've got for this evening before we start is that... Where is it? Uh, I can't show you the front of this because I've got my dress on. But it's arrived! So, new PC construction and pieces continue. Power supply arrived today. It's an RM750X, uh, which is cracking. So, that is going to be a brilliant power supply for that. So, the only things left to get the uh, to get for the um, new PC is the case, the cooling solution, the AIO, and the uh, and the video card um classic it's yeah i saw the classic international on mod hub that is very nice hey Waylon dimlick welcome on brad tickle welcome along uh it's working lovely stream thank you um yeah again it's we so because here on youtube we only stream it we don't record this um we've got a stable connection again uh and we're running at 60 fps it's i think it's purely that my streaming pc cannot handle uh the the differing recording and streaming stuff we have on uh, uh when we're streaming to twitch so i i think it's gonna be uh yeah i've got the 850 uh nice psus i very nearly got the 850 but my new system only has a power requirement of 500 and 25 watts even with this is crazy even with the 4070 ti in it it still only has a 500 and uh, and 20 odd what uh requirements so i didn't see any point in uh, getting anything bigger than the 750 and i went for the 750x because it's a better power supply than the 750e or the 850e which is about the same price so uh yeah I, I went for the x because it's it's the better one nikki maloney welcome along how are you doing right let's crack on with some farming and we're here in front of our 7810 tonight because uh the first job i need to do on here is get uh get our canola sold so uh this time of year seems to be best price uh, current price is 1,252 at the grain mill. Yes. So that's where we're going to be going. But that price is dropping. So I want to get this sold. Uh, if we get this sold, we can get a little bit of money in and uh, and therefore be in a really good place. We've got a whole load of um, bales to sell today as well. So uh, we've got to get those sold and get the money in for that. Something really cool in the shop at the moment. Uh, this Fent Ideal Para level is available. It's 220, uh, 233,000. And we have uh, 230, we are 230,000 short of that. How long will I be on for? Normally, uh, I'm on for a couple of hours on a Saturday night, Nikki. Uh, it depends on how much I have to do on the farm. If I've got more stuff to do on the farm, I'll be on for longer. Right. Uh, oh, no. I didn't want to refill that. I want to refill this. There we go. Uh, canola, start. We'll make a decent amount of money out of this canola this evening. Um, we're also going to be planting the barley tonight. 
Oh, wow. No, we still got more. How much more canola have we got then? Another 3,000 liters after this. Right. And we are heading that way. So, yeah. Yeah, the issue we have on a Saturday night is, is not normally my stream. It's my server connection. Um, which is just weird. But uh, yeah, we'll make a bit of money. We'll get set up a bit and um, we'll be fine. We're still going to be, I mean, basically, we're going to continue hiring our combine as long as we have to. Hey, Eugene Creel, welcome along. Oh, I'm, I, I, I'm a really split mind at the moment. So I am currently... Uh, getting videos ready for next week because i'm away during the week next week and so i've recorded tuesday's video i've got thursday's video to record tomorrow before i go uh before i go on monday and it's really weird i'm a, a, i'm up to episode 80 on attingham park and I feel I've still got a way to go on that video. I think I may have a, a, sorry, a way to go on that series. I may go another month until the next harvest. I was going to finish episode 80, but I don't feel like it's a good place to finish. And then we'll go from there. Hey, William Weller, welcome along. We're maxed out there. So where's this cell point? That cell point looks... To, oh no, that is that is not somewhere I want to sell. That's somebody else's. Yeah, we don't want that. Uh, oh god, these are all other people's grain mills. We want to sell then to the oil mill. Does anybody own the oil mill? But those are all other people's mills. Where's the... We'll see where this is. Oh, it's right beside my farm. Love Attingham Park. Attingham Park is a fantastic map. It really is. Um, but we won't... I definitely won't be going on beyond uh, the next harvest. What I'd like to try and do is pay off all of the... Um... Oh, can I not... Oh, I can get down here. Uh, is pay off all of the uh, loan that we've got and get that done. Uh, but I, I do I do have a hankering to move on to a new series. And obviously I can't do that. Whoa, that's the edge of the map. Uh, I can't do that while I am uh, still running Attingham Park. Whoever's field it is I'm driving across, I am sorry. Can I join the server? Uh, what's the name on PS4? Hey, Farmer King George! Uh, exclamation mark, join in for the details of, uh, of how to join in on the map. Uh, and, oh God. Oh God, I don't want to drive across this field. This is my field and I do not want to destroy my crops. So we're gonna have to go across, get to the edge here. Um, yeah, exclamation mark, join in for the details. I'm busy getting lost. Oh, wow, we've got weeds to deal with today as well on this field. Oh, no, we haven't. We don't. We've got a sprayer. Right, so there we go. Yeah, I'm getting hopelessly lost, Jesse's. I don't own the oil mill. Uh, nobody else should own the oil mill because it's right beside my farm. Mind you, nobody should own the BGA, and they do. Should make a rule on the uh, on the map that you can't own any of the productions that come on the map. Uh, you have to uh, that instead you have to place your own productions. That would make more sense. 
That would make a lot more sense. I think on the next multiplayer server, we will do that. So the rules will be no contracts and uh, you have to do... Uh, you can't buy productions. You have to place your own. Right, is this... That is paying me money. Good. They buy them so they can get a piece of the action. Would well, be good if I, oh, one of the other rules in the game would be great is if I went and sold a load of, uh, or if I went and tipped a load of stuff, I got paid for delivering to that production. Uh, if it's not my production, that would be good. Good choice to try that. Because this JD came up for sale. Is the reason I have it. It was really cheap. Because uh, I started off with the Vultra. Oh, I've got... So, Attingham, uh, Tuesday's episode, something's come up. If I continue on on Attingham, I have a choice for Thursday's episode. And I can't let the viewers choose because obviously I've had to record Tuesday's episode and Thursday's episode ahead of time. Um, but we might be getting our first non-Ford tractor on the farm on in Thursday's video. Um, because something's come up in the sales that... All honesty, if I'm going to start modernizing the farm, uh, I I absolutely cannot ignore. So uh, yeah, we might be uh, we might be moving away from the Fords a little bit on Attingham with our first non-Ford purchase, uh, and partly it's part of the problem is because on Attingham, two of my tractors. Uh, are reaching 50 hours so i'm gonna have to make a decision to uh to sell an older tractor i think and get something with uh some more horsepower which is uh yeah strange place to be i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to lose one of my favorite tractors i think because it just makes sense to upgrade Attingham's been blue for so long. I don't know. I might put it to the patrons and the channel members. Oh, I'm on the server. Uh, my map's going well. I uh, I have the roads done. So the roads are all done. Uh, next up, I've got to start... I think I'm going to have to start putting hedges in and building up the road, sides of the road. So something I've been noticing as I've been driving around your maps, Roy, and as I've been driving around uh, GB's, so uh, Attingham Park and other maps is rather than the road be raised out at the edges it's actually the edges have been raised up to hide the edge of the of the road um the road bits so uh yeah i think i'm gonna have to, a lot of work to do down the sides of the road and then i'm gonna start putting the hedges in have you got the short keys from Giants Network? Um, I need to get the shortcut keys, actually, with that. I did have a printout of them a while ago. But, um, yeah. If it's November, we want to see if we can get another cut of grass, ideally. Well, this tractor needs a repair.
So because the BGA is owned, I'm going to have to take these to the bale sell point instead. <clears throat> I might take your map on holiday with me next week, Roy, and have a play. Although I think if I play too much farm sim next week, uh, my wife might kill me. Although, I'm actually thinking I might play some FS23 next week. Got the Switch with me. Yeah, hide, hide and train to hide the edge of the road pieces. Yeah, and, and on my, uh, if you look on the, the roads around where I'm building my map, it's like that anyway. You know, the, the road edges are raised off the uh, off the side. Uh, I am off to a holiday camp for the week. I don't want to say exactly where, but uh, it is a haven. There are a lot of those around the country, so don't mind saying that. Uh, but yeah, I'm off to, to haven next week. For half term with the kiddies. <laughs> that goes on vacation. <laughs> well, I need some time to sit down and have a play around with it, Roy. I really do. I have parked this trailer in the worst place for doing this job. good time get a chance to unwind for the stress oh, thank you yeah i kind of need that it's uh, the next few months are a little bit mad i think i've settled so i talked to my wife about this earlier today i think i've settled that the rescheduled uh 24 hour stream is going to be at some point in september this year uh, and the way I'm going to do it is in two parts. So rather than one single 24-hour stream, uh, I think we're going to do it over a weekend. We're going to do 12 hours on Twitch and 12 hours on um, uh, and 12 hours on YouTube. And in both cases, seven till seven. So we're starting at 7 a.m., finishing at 7 p.m. Uh, or maybe 8 to 8. Something, something like that. So basically uh, trying to to get a, um, a good 12 hours in. Might even start at, at maybe 11 a.m. or something like that. So that we can go till 11 at night. Uh, you know, just, just generally uh, having a, a good way of, uh, of getting stuff done. Oh, my Lord. Right, now that's not on there straight. Please drop those down, Jessies. get all of these on this trailer we're gonna get one more here then four more and then one on top yeah we can get all these on this trailer no 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 so that's much better than doing a full 24 hours yeah well with the, my troubles with anxiety over the last year and a, a little bit of uh, a, a little bit of um, uh, just general fatigue. I, I don't want to push it too much, but I do want to. Uh, I do still want to do a load of stuff for charity. I also want 
to do a um i want to split it between youtube and twitch uh so i want to do it across both and the easiest way to do it is in two 12-hour streams so what i will probably do is do twitch on the first day and youtube on the second and then i can schedule the youtube stream and say right we'll be back tomorrow um and uh and we'll be picking up over on youtube at this time this way so yeah easiest way to do it all right okay oh yeah uh strap those on That one is not on there very securely. Whoa. Oh, man. Right, and in. I've been meaning to ask um, other YouTube, uh, sorry, other creators if they've noticed a, a dip in views and things recently or whether it's just me. Whether I need to uh, be worried about it, I kind of, I kind of want to launch a new series straight after FarmCon. So this is why I'm thinking uh, we'll have another month on Attingham Park. We'll get through another harvest, and then we'll go from there with a new series. Alternatively, uh, if uh, uh, might get the role play started. And, uh, and do that once a week. Because I think once a week is the most I'll be able to do the role playing. Because it's just going to require so much more editing and so much more work. Right. And... Right, what I want to do here is just turn off the huds and get myself a screenshot. There we go. Put that on the video afterwards. Right, and then we just got one to go on the top and see if it'll sit there. The general views have dipped. Most people now FS is an old game and with FS3 3 out, most are watching and might bring a few people back to FS22. Yeah, very much. I also think it's middle of the year. Uh, I think uh, come September, October, November, we get an, uh, November, we get another big DLC out, another expansion out, and uh, and I think we'll uh, we'll see the numbers pick up. Numbers always tend to pick up after FarmCon as well. There, there tends to be a general increase at that time of year too. So uh, yeah, I think we'll keep we'll keep probably keep adding them going until after FarmCon, and then I'll launch a new series. Right, let's go park this up and then we can sell. And then we'll get back and we'll start on planting the um start on planting the barley in the there you go. Uh, what we go, uh, canola barley soil. So, field 141 and 140 need planting with barley. I think the, uh, uh, yeah, if you could load up the, um, cedar, I'll attach it to this when, we, when I get back. Thank you, Jesses. Uh, Nope, uh, bales. 
because we can only sell silage bales to the bales market which is actually a better price at the moment so tag it and where is the bales market oh we still got the hud off uh jake brown thank you for subscribing welcome to the vfn hud is back uh ah bales market is behind us good nice and easy it's like seven days to die new beaches announced and the player base increases and more streams will be found when the beach drops yes and i'm looking forward to that because because i get to take part in the streamers weekend uh, and we'll be doing that over on twitch uh that's gonna that's gonna be quite good for the twitch channel because it will open people up to watching seven days to die on my channel as well as uh as well as farm sim so uh, i'm quite looking forward to that Yeah, that's, that's coming up in the next month or so. Right, so where is my entrance to that? Okay, oh yeah, we've sold bales here before. Oh, yeah, exactly. Right, and those off. Sell them all. Another 13, 14,000, nearly 15,000 off that. That's brilliant. Up to 56,000. Not enough for a new field, unfortunately. size of that farm is mad look at all those productions as well wow uh, we actually have enough for our own grain mill now which is probably not a bad idea considering all of the other productions are, are buying stuff up so i might put a grain mill in of my own and uh, and we can then use that for our own crops everybody's got their own mill on here because the grain mill is not that expensive that's the thing and it just means you you produce your own stuff How much is the grain mill? I think it's only like 20,000, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Wow, that really is not that expensive. I've not had this one before. I think that's an... Is that the American mill? Um, and then that's the uh, standard one. Yes, he has the uh, cedar out for me, which is fantastic. Good to have some cash. We, uh, we're out of fertilizer, are we? Yeah, I think we ran out last time, didn't we? And that's all the seed we have. Uh, okay. Can you do a run down to the shop, uh, Jesse's? And I'll purchase a couple of bags of seed and a couple of bags of fertilizer. Fertilize it's expensive. Right. Two bags of that. Okay. And a couple of bags of 
siege. Okay, uh, yeah, if you take the flatbeds down to the shop, Jesse. Uh, there's, uh, there's two bags of seeds and two bags of fertilizer down there. Um, and I'll start by planting the barley. And then we can use, I can fertilize it properly later. Uh, what bales are compatible with net wrap add-on? Um, there's a whole load of balers in the uh, in with the net wrap add-on, uh, Richard. Um, there is also uh, instructions in the net wrap add-on on how to add it in. So I've added it into my baler on uh, uh, the baler I've got on the oaks. Although I did update the net add-on and uh, and have it not load on Attingham Park, which was really annoying. Even though I wasn't using a single baler, uh, a single baler that required the net wrap add-on, updating it just broke the save. So yeah, and I had to take the mod out. Right, barley, yeah, and away we go. So yeah, I'm not fertilizing this. We're just seeding it at the moment. We'll fertilize it with the sprayer later. Uh, but if you add it in, uh, Richard, what it'll do is it'll... Um, oh, yeah. What's the name of the mod I've got? I've got a mod that puts the name of it underneath. Uh, name of the mod underneath. I think it's uh, Shop Inspector or something like that. Really awesome one because it tells you which uh, which items are mods and which are uh, which are base game and and DLCs and things. This is using seeds at quite a rate. Barley's quite big anyway. Too far. Try and keep it nice and straight.
Did you have barley as a crop on my dad's farm? Yes, we had. We did mainly spring barley and winter wheat uh, as our two grain crops. We then also had sugar beet and potatoes on the farm as well. Uh, I think we did do a little bit of oats later on. Um, I need to look at all the data because he's he, he gave me all his books and everything uh, of his uh, of the all the record books and everything uh, to use for creating the map. And uh, and as I said, what what I'm going to be doing is the crops that you get first year on uh, on the map are going to be the exact crops that were being uh, that were planted in 1999 so i'm going to be using my dad's farm records to plant the farm with actual crops that we had on the farm when we have to use horses to pull plow cedars it would fit in with specific way of thinking and make the autumn start from scratch um yeah i would like to see that kind of thing I think having the ability to go way back and do some really classic farming would be cool. It's not something that uh, apply, I think goes to me to want to do. Uh, it would take me too long to farm that way. Um, but I know that there's definitely a, a, a section of the community that would love to, to farm that way. And get into to playing a... a, a a playthrough of Farmton that way. An old FS15 mod of Class Quadrant 202000. I'm messing around with it. Oh, it's yeah. That one's been yeah. That one's been uprated from oh uh, yeah to 17 and then to 19. What I want to do is I want to get hold of I've got a copy of of Matt XJS's T Dub mods from fs 17 and i want to see how difficult it would be to convert those for my own use i wouldn't release them because obviously i wouldn't release them 40 wow that's massive Uh, but they would need UDM textures and, and all that kind of thing as well if I was to do those. But I just can't trust any of the ones that are out there. I, I've got a T-Dub. I do have a T-Dub 5 and 15 mod that I got. But I don't know if they're... I need to go and look at the files and see if they're named the same as, uh, as Matt. Because that's the thing that you'll often find. You want to find out if a mod's been um, converted without permission or anything like that. Uh, sometimes they'll just come straight out and say it, which is what's happened with the TW35 mod that's on, on King Mods. He's come straight out in his mod listing and, and says this is updated from, or oh, this is built from uh parts of the 7810 or the, the 10 series and uh and um his uh and matt's original t-dub and and i i just i put a message on facebook to the person doing it and went do you have permission from matt and of course didn't because yeah matt matt doesn't give permission for people to to you know release his mods uh to to update and release his mods and there's, there's one person who has permission and uh and they are uh, and that's where the 10 series comes from Uh, 
And away we go. Mr. DJ Goham, welcome along. How are you doing, my friend? Yeah, five weeks. Five weeks to popcorn. Oh, it's going to be awesome. I'm so looking. I'm looking forward to that whole week, DJ. Um, but yeah, I am. I have five weeks to go. It's so cool, and I cannot wait. High quality, lots of moving parts, animations. Bit needs. <clears throat> But it needs net wrap added. Uh, adding the net wrap add on, uh, Richard, is really easy. Uh, and seriously, go to the. If you go to the listing on Mod Hub for the net wrap add on, it says where to check on there. And there's a file in there with examples. And yeah, go go check that out because it's uh, it's it's really really easy to add the uh, the thing. Yeah, I need to I need to get some hats ordered actually. I need to get some hats ordered um, because uh, I need to do some hat exchanges. I don't know how many I can get. I can't buy them in bulk. That's the trouble. Yeah, looking forward to seeing you there as well, Gaming FFC. I'm waiting. My, my brother's passport still hasn't arrived, which is a little bit worrying. Um, but it does, as I said, five weeks to go, so hopefully it'll be there. Hat exchange YouTube short. Oh. <laughs> I am, uh, yeah. I am looking forward to it. Your part, yeah, you're you're waiting for yours as well, gaming FFC, aren't you? And uh, oh. is this map worth playing? Um, ten ten one gaming, welcome along. Uh, is this map worth playing on console? Yeah, absolutely. This map is fantastic. Uh, it's an awesome multiplayer map, uh, Ebby Island. Uh, we have got a whole load of farms on here. Uh, let me just show you. We've got... Uh, so, that farm there is insane. Uh, but we've got a farm there. We've got a farm there. We've got a farm here. There's a farm here. Uh, there's one on the island up the top there. There's one up this side here. There's one down this side here. And then there's my farm down the bottom here. And I'm basically just going to spread myself over this uh, bottom section here. But my farm is the smallest because I only really get on the community multiplayer once a week. So. Oh dear. <laughs> Speaking of things like that, um, uh, our community server, of course, is provided by the awesome people at G Portal. Uh, exclamation mark G Portal in the chat if you want to get one for your own, one for yourself and uh, get 10% off. They also do lots of other games as well. Uh, Seven Days to Die. Um, I think they do ETS and ATS. Servers also have some of the best uptime I've ever seen. I have had no issues really with this server at all. Um, and when I have had something I need addressing, uh, they've been really, really quick to respond. So uh, yeah, love and G Portal. They are absolutely awesome. it up yeah g portal for the win absolutely uh. can you teach me how to, how to fast farm i know how yeah yeah eugene i know how to fast farm i even had a video out uh what a week or so ago going is this fast farming question mark 
Because I was going too fast in my combines. <laughs> I know that's a fast farm. I choose not to. <laughs> I sound so pompous right now. the extra seeds and fertilizer not a moment too soon thank you Jesse's. i'm down to 21 percent so we'll need a refill in the not too distant future ah no that's fun normal i choose not to as well which is fair enough actually i in all serious that's what i love about farm sim is the fact that you can play how you want to play uh, and I think that's pretty awesome. I think that's one of the big appeals of Farm Sim. Is that you can come on and you can play it however you want to play it. And it's one of the reasons why I think it gets very difficult to get bored with Farm Sim. Because if you are getting bored, if you're not enjoying the way you're playing it, mix it up and play it in a different way. That's because all the bits I have to do <laughs> faster. You know what? I, I, I do my own version of fast farming for exactly the same reason, DJ. You know, I do all my series at 10 times because I have about an hour, hour and a bit to record a video. Uh, easiest way to do it is to have a full day be about an hour long. And whatever I get done in that hour is whatever happens in the video so uh yeah sometimes that means getting five six jobs done at once with some help of some course play other times uh like yesterday's video it means doing one job or today's video yeah doing basically one job and uh, and the whole video being about that job but that's that's the way it goes you know spend four to five episodes in one day yeah that's the thing i am i am actually going to be mixing up how i do my videos because i'm now down uh, now i'm doing four videos a week because trying to do seven was too many um i am now uh i'm probably gonna up the time to 6x so that i can get more into a video Right, I'll get turned around and then I'll open the back up. Oh, uh, oh no, I missed a bit. Okay. Turn this around. But yeah, my my big change over the next couple of months, I think, is probably going to be trying to get per once the perbeck update is up. I'm going to to get the role play working. That's going to be cool. That's going to be a lot of fun. Thank you, Jesse. Oh, perfect. There we go. That should do me for the rest of the field. Uh, forwards, yeah, forwards. Nice and straight. Winter barley in, and that is going to be 
Yeah, we only then have the soybeans to plant in the new year, which is fantastic news. I have an idea the next DLC could be a large grassland equipment. What's the tease for the next DLC? I forget. But yeah, it might be... Uh... Oh yeah, it's this will conquer mountains. Um, I don't know. It's been... Yeah, I don't know. machines to rule the mountains so yeah what what could that be that does seem to suggest grassland equipment and alpine type equipment um i don't think we'll get mountain goat dlc i don't think we'll get uh forestry stuff so close to the release of the uh, platinum edition uh, that would surprise me well no, it's not go it's not going so it won't be an update to Erlingrat planes uh, yeah it's going to be an interesting pack whatever it is But I'm, uh, yeah, I'd be, I'd be surprised if it's forestry. Oh, we're on heavy sea juice at the moment. Hiking boots. Are they machines? We have to turn the other way. Uh, if you could start rolling this in, please, uh, Jesse, if you're... I know, you're unloading. That's fine. Yeah, we need to roll this in next. Right, so measuring it from there. I want to be placing... Placing this in here. Scania 2, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the BFN. Diggers, can't get over them. Don't want to go around. Go through them. That'd be good if it added in the functionality to, to dig soil and ground and things as well. Yes, please. That'd make the uh, miners very happy. There we are, and away we go. Let's see how close to where I actually wanted to get this. This will go. Yeah, not bad, actually. Pretty much exactly where I wanted to be. No new DL. We know there's no new DLC map until the Platinum Edition later in the year, or the the you know the Special Edition. I'll call it later in the year because we already had a Platinum Edition. So it'll be new map will be November time, uh, which we'll learn more about at FarmCon. Uh, they've already said that there are going to be talks on the new map at FarmCon. 
So we're going to learn a lot about the uh, what's coming later in the year at FarmCon, which is awesome. And then um, at... Yeah, we just still don't know what the next DLC is. The next DLC has got to be being released soon. I'm kind of wondering if the next DLC is going to be released just before FarmCon. Just to muck all the best content creators up. Are we going to get, right before FarmCon, a, uh, a, a DLC release? Desperately making videos for the week. Oh, no. I'm not getting the DLC until a week before. And think big, big trucks as in, ooh, Blackmere. Yes, what if it doesn't describe, oh, was the picture, the teaser picture might have been mountains. Um, but yeah, it might not, it might not describe, might not be talking about actual physical mountains, but mountains of crops and, hmm. I am, I am intrigued because there's also things like power level combines and things like that. Maybe it is stuff that is, oh, I don't know. It's, it'll be interesting. I, whatever way you look at it, I think it's going to be interesting. And we can't be that far from information on it. Because otherwise everything's going to be really bunched up towards the end of the year. Of course, the other big thing happening at FarmCon is launch of FSL Season 5. Yeah, FSL Season 5 is kicking off at FarmCon, which is awesome. Um, looking forward to that. Uh, there's something else happening that I don't know if I can talk about yet. Uh, that Lars let me know about uh, last week. Um, but I'm not, I'm, uh, uh, nothing, I've not seen anything officially announced. So I, I, beyond giving you guys a massive tease, um, I can't actually say anything more about, um, I think details of, of that will come out as FarmCon gets closer. You got the new Massey Round Bale Wrap. Oh, that's nice. I want to get that. Uh, is it on here? Yeah, it's on here. I wanted to get it. How much is it? Not for sale. Uh, there they are. 80, oh, 84,000. Um, now that my throne list has come up in the chat, 
Um, as I was saying earlier, I am only three items shy now of building my new PC. Uh, I've got to get the AIO cooler, uh, the uh, graphics card, which is the big thing, and the uh, and the case. Motherboard should be here early next month. And um, we'll see how we go from that. Right, now this we're going to take right up to the edge. That's just going in so well at the moment. I do like this direct cedar. It's really nice. Jesse's is doing a fantastic job at the top of the field rolling all this in. Yeah, 23,000, I could buy myself a windmill and then sell flour, which would be, which would make me a load of, load more money, I think. Whoa, 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 whoa. off track. What the heck? I think this is because I've, I've got no, not really a lot of force feedback in this at the moment because my Logitech software updated and the force feedback just kind of disappeared from my wheel. Which did prove something actually. My wheel's making about as much noise as it, uh, it always has. Um, but because the force feedback isn't active, it's not sending vibrations through the desk. And because it's not sending vibrations through the desk, the mic is picking it up less. So uh, I need to find a way of cushioning my uh, wheel a bit more. Hey, Camden, welcome along.
is that that is one width okay so now that i have got the main part of the field done we're gonna go and take this to the entrance of the field and uh and yeah do the headlands What mod is this either? This is the John Deere 8350. It is available on the mod hub, this one. And yeah, I seem to have got my width right around this field. That's good news. I'll head up to the top here. I'm just going to turn around in this field. And yeah, I think I might buy a windmill. Everybody else is buying them. And it'll make me more money than just selling the uh, the barley and the wheat. Or selling the barley and the canola, sorry. Instead of the oil and everything. Howdy, Fisher J. Welcome along. Also make canola. Yeah, exactly. I've sold my canola, but I need to sell my canola to be able to avoid uh, afford the um, <laughs> to afford the uh, actual uh, windmill in the first place. So yeah, I think we'll put a, we'll put a windmill in, and we'll put the slightly bigger one in for the extra twenty three thousand. Uh, for the extra three thousand, sorry. I need the force feedback on my back on my wheel, please. Made 35k. Of, I'm gonna have to put the canola oil in that. What on here, Fisher J? Or on uh, your other map? Yeah, I've got no feel on the in my wheel at the moment at all. And that's not because something happened in Farm Sim, that's because the Logitech software updated. Yes, on here, that's how you have 54k. Wow. field actually there we go Right, back 
to the farm uh, next thing we're going to be planting is soybeans it's good i'm glad we got that in and done Just fits down these roads. I might go spot spray my first field actually, if we've got any herbicide. Could do with getting rid of the um the weeds in that. A lot of planting this month on Ebony. Yeah, well, it's it's November. It's last chance before winter kicks in. Yeah, I've got some herbicide in here. Good. Not going to eat much, but... Oh, Nightbot's being harsh tonight. Okay, that is uh, herbicide as well. should be enough to get rid of them Try and get one more cut of grass out. How many chickens do you have to make 245k on eggs? Jeez, a lot. A hell of a lot. 2,000 chickens fed them from off. Wow. As low as I can get it, pretty much. Yeah. Because this is not very high. Turn it on. Kill the weeds. This is not a spot sprayer, is it? Oh, is this just straight up herbicide? Oh, I don't think this is a spot sprayer. Yeah, this is just spraying everything. I thought I'd got a spot sprayer. This is, hang on. That's gotta be a Christmas tune. Didn't I have the spot spray for the price at the time? Ah, hang on. It's 
39,000 to add the spot sprayer on, isn't it? Nope. Sod it. I'm just going to spray it. Yeah, and the amount of money I will lose doing this on my environmental score is vastly outweighed by the amount of money it'll cost to do the spot spray. I'd rather buy the um, uh, rather buy the windmill. So chilled, can't be hard to reach over for my coffee. Nice. As the shirt says, keep calm and farm on. As someone who drinks tea and uh, advanced GG. <laughs> Turn that off. There we go. Yeah, we're using a lot more uh, of this as well. Uh, how do I lower the width? Change the work width. Control Z. No. Back it up.
and stop. Hold in. That's really bright. That's about doing well, thank you, Martin. How are you doing? Dear not chocolate, the only hot drinks uh, I drink. Coconut white hot chocolate coming next month. Oh, nice. Very nice. Yeah, I think the spot spraying add-on is like, I'm not going to add it because yeah, we just spent all that money. Uh, navigate, uh, customize. Yeah, 39,000 to add that. Ow. We might have to do that before New Year, but I've got better use for my 50,000 at the moment. Like everyone else, I'm going to add myself a wooden knob. for a job near BGA near Cardiff they also do contract work so fingers crossed oh fantastic Martin that'd be awesome that'd be a huge amount of fun and yeah I hope I uh, hope it all goes well for you mate that was faster than I expected there we go. Right, so where I want to put this windmill, we've got all this space out here. Easy access to both sides of it. I'm thinking maybe oh, uh, how about here ish actually? to get the oh, it's going to be fairly tight there to get the stuff out of there there would do better so uh, and it's pretty flat but if I put it there there we go Perfect. Corn pig feed, sorghum pig feed. Oh, wow. Didn't realize this did pig feed. Fantastic. Uh, right. Yeah, we will put those in uh, there. So we're going to put our barley into this. Let's go get our trailer and our tractor. Less than a month to go, a month and a month and 15 days to go to work if surgeon gives you the green light. Awesome. Ooh. 
sorghum flour. Okay. 15 to 16. So, sorghum pays how well? Sorghum pays really well, actually. Uh, uh, so, best price. I'm going to have to get the calculator out. So, sorghum, best price for that is 9.34. Four. Divided by 15 times 16. So, the price we need for flour from the sorghum uh, is at least uh, 996. So, best price for flour. Oh, wow. Yeah, as long as we sell above 996, we will make money on the sorghum. Um, and we'll make money next month as well. What is the price at the moment for flour? Price at the moment for flour is above what we need. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's process a trailer full of sorghum. <laughs> yeah, but I always play with seasons on. I find sorghum to be a good crush crop anyway, uh, Roy, to be honest. Uh, it pays really well. It sells in December. And, uh, and yeah, it's a, it's a pretty good cash crop. Um, and you can plant it later as well. Unlike soybeans. So soybeans you can plant about the same time. They are Soybeans are an amazingly good cash crop. Um, the trouble with them is they sell in June, July time. So you have to hold on to them for longer uh, in order to make your money. I don't know how much capacity this has, actually. Let's have a look. See, there is some force feedback in this at the moment. Yeah, this isn't going to take much. Oh, this is probably going to take a bow to trailer full. Yeah, it doesn't take very much. So let's activate that. And yeah, we'll start outputting some flour. So how much does it output a month? 960. Wow, it doesn't output it very fast. They run a fleet of New Holland T7 and JCP. I'm dying to hear how I bet. Right. There we go. Windmill is going. Uh, we'll close that up because we're not going to put any more in. So uh, I might sell the rest of my sorghum next time to get some extra cash in. Uh, we'll see how fast this actually uh, works through. But, uh, yeah, we could make quite a bit of money off that. Right, where are we? See, I think that's ready to harvest. It's 10 o'clock. It's 10 o'clock. We're going to do what we always do on here. And probably cut some grass. Because, yeah, that field is ready to cut. So, um, if it's ready to cut and we're heading towards winter, we need to cut it. This is why I want to get a uh, an all-in-one baler wrapper. Because it just speed this thing up. Do we own... Do we own our baler, actually? Uh, own the wrapper. I don't think we own the baler. No, we don't. Wrapper's not worth a lot of money. And to lease one of those new wrapper balers. Uh, baler, baler, baler. Yeah, one of the new masses. Customize. 
standard. be fairly expensive what is oh god I've got half of my there we go class rotor cut uh, there we go 775 per day how much is that to buy Twenty-five thousand versus eighty-five thousand. Okay, it's not that much more expensive to have that kicking around. Yeah, those new bailers are really nice. So I'm kind of each stream I'm cycling between these two fields now. We've got uh, we've got both these grass fields, and uh, if we if we cut and then roll them, they end up um, being uh, available. Sort of not the next stream, but the one after. It's about a two month turnaround to to be able to cut the grass fields. Uh, which is fantastic you know gives us a steady income from the uh, silage as a result of it i'd really like to i might see if we can add some small bgas onto the map uh because uh for me that would be really useful probably be useful for others as well Bought the Gal Pack DLC nice, very nice DLC. It is a gorgeous DLC. I really like it. And the bit that then doesn't do anything. And dumps out a huge amount. And then that. No lift. Cute. Maybe to some good BGA mods, yeah. Well, now that the BGA beside me is gone, I could do with a, a, a nice little BGA to, to produce stuff. And uh, on Spruce Mountain, I found a few of them, so... We'll see if we can add a little BGA mod or two. And yeah, going forwards, I think almost certainly... Uh, whatever map we end up on next for the community multiplayer, we will um, uh, we'll have that rule where you can only build productions, not buy them. Yeah, because then the thing is, it then doesn't remove sell points for people. I could buy a front mower for this as well, actually. That would speed things up as well. I think now that I've built the windmill, what we'll probably end up doing is uh, going with sorghum. I was going to go soybeans, but I can't process soybeans through my... Uh, through my women so we'll we'll get a uh, we'll keep going sorghum and uh, we'll make sorghum flour 
seeing as that seems to be fairly good. And yeah, we'll be a flower producing farm going forwards. One more roll that I think will be needed. All built productions must be renamed, i.e. grain mill, to the owner of the... Ah, oh, that's a really good suggestion. Yes, absolutely, Roy. So, for example, on here, if I go into construction here, and I go over to here, and select this, rename from old grain mill to the X grain mill there we go so now when i go to the sales screen and i go wheat bs grain mill yes so everybody on the server if you have a grain mill rename it to yours i see taz has done that to his so yeah um that's the thing I think that's a really good idea. That way people immediately know that that production is your production and not one to sell stuff at. Uh, I don't think it does soybean oil. Sunflower, canola and olive, no. One more set of headlands. How long has renaming been a thing? Uh, always, I think. I need to provide force feedback on back on my wheel. I'm gonna have to sort that after this.
back. To there and let it draw and then that works better Considering getting a hat with my channel name on it for FarmCon. Good idea, Gaming FFC. I will be having this with me. Um, although I also have a couple of t-shirts. But so I may... I, Depending on when FSL is, if uh, if, if we have a FSL, um, I will probably have to wear my Giants polo uh, on one of the days, which will be interesting. been over three years since I last did FSL casting in person. I'm not gonna, no, this is, so the Giants polo shirts, I have my Giants polo shirt because uh, of the FSL. So I wear that when I'm casting for the FSL and I'm on camera. Uh, it's not something you can buy from their shops. It's something they give out to people who uh, who work for them. And in, uh, and I have one in my capacity as a as an FSL commentator because I am doing work for them. That's going to be fun to get with the bailer. Now, does the darker mean it's a better or a worse yield on, on here? Uh, darker means it's a worse yield. We were getting 75% and now we're getting 70%. Yeah, I wouldn't wear the I wouldn't wear my Giants Polo unless I was casting. It's it's not something I would just go around wearing.
mine's got this filled cap. Yeah, exactly, Boxball. More of a uniform than a, than a fashion statement. I suspect you'll see most of the guys from Giants wearing one at FarmCon. Hello, Farmer Fox. Welcome along. Last little bit, and then we can get the bailer on this. Evening, Rich. Welcome along. a lot of time in the drum deer tonight. Right, let's get this bailed up. I could actually buy one of these glass balers out right now. Nice, but even though I have to stop all the time with the bail wrap, it does go faster. Yeah. That's the thing. This baler here, I'm leasing this. I'm very tempted to go and just go and lease the others because I am leasing this baler. that door in the corner actually that did really well <laughs> and i have to massage my shoulder after this is reaching round the panel to to reach the mouse does my shoulder in So yeah, we seem to have got into a nice rhythm with our grass fields now. Uh, we get roughly four cuts a year off them, uh, doing alternating months. Oh, that was a really bad place.
How heavy is that? Just looking at my uh, my Toby, and it, I can't get it to stick on the bottom of the monitor. I think I'm doing something wrong. Took me 10 minutes to get out of the forecourt because I'm not used to automatic. Uh, my wife refuses to drive an automatic at the moment. She can't get on with them. But if I, uh, if I end up buying a disco, a brand new disco, the only version they do of them anymore is automatics. So, uh, yeah. Missed a little bit in the corner. First time I tried electric, I pushed the start button again and again, again expecting the engine to start. Oh man. I love an automatic. I, I learned to drive both in manuals and automatics. I mean, my dad's Range Rover when I was learning to drive was an automatic. So, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm used to driving both. To be honest, I can get behind the wheel of most things and, and be fine driving it. Kind of happens when you grow up on a farm. Evening, well, welcome along. It is beautiful. It's been a lovely day here today. Manual fanboy now have a hybrid and must say it isn't so bad. The only thing I hate about modern cars, the only thing I really dislike about modern cars is electric handbrakes. Electric handbrakes are awful and one of the worst things that were ever invented. I really dislike them. Give me something I can pull up and know that I'm, you know, and that I've engaged. Not a button that I'm then unsure whether my car's going to go rolling down a hill or not. And that is another point of where of breaking, you know. Yeah, you get a cable with a handbrake and and there you go. Nice manual. You, you know you've engaged it. Electronic handbrake can just go wrong. And hill starts in them are horrible. BF ranting about handbrakes. <laughs> well, it gives it. Yeah, give it a handbrake. Let's drive in a Ford car 2008. Felt like a workout. Oh, I had so my first car was a Ford Fiesta. Ford Fiesta Festival on an e reg So an old e reg uh, So that was 19... God, what would an old e reg be? Uh, about uh, 1980... If a J was 92, an E would be 88, something like that. My first car. Oh, 73 bug jetties. Fantastic. Oh, yeah, they are. Oh, and it was a special edition. It was a Fiesta Festival. 
80, yeah, 80, 87. 87, 88, that'd be about right. And then my my car after that really would be an antique now. It was a Mark II Golf GTI was my second car. Uh, oh my God, was that an awesome car. I loved that little GTI. It was my mum's before it was mine. And uh, and yeah, that was that was that was on a J Reg, so that was 1992. Best of us. Um, so that was that was a, on a on a J Reg. Then my next one after that was a, a was a. There's a bit of a uh, a, 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 a bit of a. A set up here, you'll notice. Uh, if you could plug those off the fields, Jesse's. That way we can roll the field afterwards. Without having to worry about the... Uh, the rat bales. I'm doing all sorts of movies here. An H Reg Mini, oh nice. Classic Mini, I take it, uh, Martin, from that. Driver Mini F52. Oh, wow. Yeah, the new minis are huge. The new minis are almost as big as my free laptop, which is really weird. I was old enough was an H Reg 1.8 X Corp. Was 15 years old and cost you 150 quid. Wow. Red Cooper lookalike. Wow. I have not driven one of the new minis. As I said, my so I had so I had. Um, my little Ford Fiesta tried to run rust from under me. Uh, I then had Golf GTI, Golf GTI, so Mark II Golf GTI, Mark III Golf GTI, Mark IV Golf TDI, which was the most amazing car. Oh, my God. My Mark IV Golf G TDI was just awesome. When I saw, I bought it with less than 100,000 miles on the clock. I had, uh, yeah, I think it had like 98,000 miles on the clock when I bought it. I sold it with 205,000 miles on the clock. I put 100,000 miles on that, that Golf TDI. It was awesome. Such a fantastic car. And uh, I had to sell it because I had twins arriving. <laughs> so I sold that and and then went for the worst Volkswagen that I've ever owned, um, which was uh, this horrible, horrible Passat. It was it was such a horrible car. Uh, I, yeah, just all over. Um, and then, um, and then my current car, which is the, uh, the, the Land Rover Freelander, which I have a smile on my face every day I drive it. It's not the most reliable car I've ever owned, but it is the, the car that puts a smile on, has always put a smile on my face when I drive it. It is, I just love my Freelander. I couldn't be happier behind the wheel of that. I 
and it's it's uh the the funniest thing about the freelander for me it's the reason i got rid of the passat was because the clutch went on it within a year of owning the freelander the clutch went on it with the passat the qu there was no question it was right the clutch has gone on the passat the car goes that's it i don't like it it's it's going to cost too much to replace it more than the car bang um the uh the freelander the the clutch went it was immediately okay how do i get the clutch repaired it wasn't a question of okay the freelander goes now it was how do i get the clutch repaired i, I want to keep this car I'd marked you for uh, at one point. Bloom brilliant car. Uh, 1.9 TDI was bulletproof and quick as same engine of the Y wedge. Yeah, I know somebody who had one of. Uh, I know somebody who had a Skoda Octavia as well, and that was a lovely car. Volkswagen, the the stuff that Volkswagen put in the Skodas. Skoda went from this joke to just being awesome. It was incredible. And yeah, and I, I know somebody who owned a, a, a Skoda Octavia and it was just, it was just a lovely car. Yeah, I do, I do like the smaller Volkswagens. The bigger ones I'm much more wary of these days. My dad's Ford Ranger 2018 had two new clutches. Clutches are expensive. I mean, it cost £1,500 to replace the clutch on the Freelander. It was just, yeah, eye-wateringly expensive. Especially after we just bought it. Yeah, they are in general. Um, the, the earlier ones, the cl more classic ones, seem to be a bit better. Um, but it's also the, the other trouble, though, with the bag group stuff is that uh, they tend to know their quality these days. And, uh, and, and they, end up, um, they end up charging you through the nose for them. It's a company. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's fair enough. Gonna get these two little bits. And yeah, maybe we'll be able to get a BGA on here. Although the BGAs are like 80,000, so we'll see where we are. I don't mind a car that's a little bit unreliable as long as it's a nice car to drive. Uh, and I think that's what's actually that's what's kept Alfa Romeo going so long. Because <laughs> they're unreliable as hell, but they're fun cars to drive. You know? <laughs> and it's and it's what keeps me looking at the Land Rover. Not the most reliable car but fun to drive. We are not going to get another bail out of here. That is it. But again, that's uh, actually that would have been a complete bail if I didn't have partial bail already in here. So that's good. Another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine bales off there. Nine, yeah, nine bales off that field. Fantastic. So uh, yeah, that will load up the trailer again.
But if I can put them straight into a, a BGA on our own farm, that would be great. Because they'll make more money that way as well. And we'll make some uh, digestate to, uh, to go and spread on our fields. The L200 with beer badges and much smaller price tag. Okay. Did it, did, hasn't one of those just been released on the mod tab? Right, let's see how this is doing. Has this... It's not produced anything yet. Grand total of 50 litres of flour. We'll see next Saturday how much flour this is producing. December is a good time to sell flour. So whatever this produces between now and next weekend uh, is what we will be selling off from here. Jesse's has very nicely got this field uh, collected up. I don't know if... I don't know if we actually need to roll this this time. Because it's not going to be harvestable again until March anyway. Uh, just think if you... Uh, if you want, feel free to roll this. I don't know if we need to this month, though, because it's it's November. Uh, oh, we probably need to put some lime on it. Wow, that is bad. So might consider do might consider doing that over the winter if we can. Chopping some lime on it. I don't know if we I don't know if we will be able to lime it actually once it's growing. So might need to. Um, but. I think that is us done on our farm for this evening. Did I say no? Um, it was a rumor. Um, well, I don't know if they're actually coming, Martin. So there we go. We've got the barley in the ground. We've wrecked our, <laughs> we've wrecked our environment score by um, spraying herbicide without uh, actually... Uh, putting the spot sprayer stuff on um, We've built our windmill. We've cut the grass again uh, The farm is coming along nicely. Uh, I am good so I'm gonna get some see if we can get some BGA mods on the server for next week and uh, And do that um, But yeah, all in all, I'm pretty happy with where our farm is on here. Uh, thanks to Jesse uh, for helping out today. You are awesome. Um, also, uh, I think that's... Yeah. Um, also, huge thank you to all my patrons and channel members. Uh, you guys are amazing. Uh, you help keep the lights on here and you help the channel to grow in uh, immeasurable ways. So thank you so much for that. Um, for everybody else, I hope you have enjoyed this live stream. Um, I hope you've enjoyed watching. Uh, we will be back tomorrow night from 8.30 p.m. Uh, over on Twitch, so come join me for that. A video tomorrow on Attingham Park. Uh, that will be out at 3 p.m., so go check that out. Uh, for now, I'm going to leave this here. So until next time, uh, I will see you later. Bye for now.